Hi there, I'm Josh, and today I thought I would show you how to make a synth brass patch on the Synthstrom Deluge. Now, the way that I'm going to show you this is going to work the same on any, like, two oscillator synthesizer, digital or analog. Um, in this case, it's digital, but you can do this on, you know, an analog synth as well. So while the shortcuts and such that I'll be describing are going to be unique to the Deluge, the general idea that I'm going to describe would work the same on really just any other synthesizer. So um, why don't we get started? So the first step we're going to do is hold shift and hit synth, which gives us a completely new synth patch. In this case, we've got square waves. That's what the deluge defaults to. So the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is hold shift and hit oscillator two and bring that up to its maximum volume. And now we have a more intense square wave. We're actually not gonna keep it as square waves. Our next step is going to be holding shift and hitting type and we're going to change both of them to a saw, which I believe is supposed to be analog saw, like I'm modeling an analog synthesizer. And after this, I go into transpose and I transpose one down a tenth of a step and the other up a tenth of a step. So now neither of them are perfectly on the pitch that we'll be playing, but they're both equidistant from it and super close. So you get this sound. which uh, I think sounds pretty cool, but why don't we add a little bit more to that? So the next step is going to be going over to our envelope. I like to have the sound fade in just a little bit. Cause I think it sounds uh, to me a little bit more like a brass player, you know, coming in with a note. And the next step is going to be the filter. So what we're going to want to do is have a filter that very quickly comes in and scoops out the higher tones, but isn't at its full strength right away, and also have the sustain level be a bit lower than maximum. So the first thing I'll do is hold shift and tap frequency for the low pass filter. And next I'm going to assign it to envelope two. And I'm gonna turn that up quite a bit of a ways. I'm gonna put it at 40. The max on here is 50, so depending on the synth that you're using, um, it's going to be a different amount. And with a lot of like synthesizer patching, I'm giving you the exact numbers I'm using on the Deluge, but really it's all about feel. I mean, even when I use patches that I've already programmed, I usually change around bits and pieces of them. So now, if I turn down the cutoff, you can hear how it slowly comes in and scoops out some of the tones. Now something that I'm going to add to both the amplitude and the filter envelope is some release. So on here, I'm holding shift and I hit release. In this case, I dial it up to 20, just a little something so that it fades out at the end. I might even put it up a bit higher to 30 so that it fades out instead of just cutting off right away. So finally, I'm going to hold shift and tap attack for envelope two. This is the envelope that we assigned the cutoff frequency to. And I'm going to turn that down. I'm gonna say, mm, let's try it at around 13. Maybe even lower to 10. After that, something else that you might like adding is effects. Uh, I tend to like adding a little bit of reverb And along with that, I'll sometimes add a little bit of vibrato. I try not to go too crazy with it, because if it goes up really high, uh, it doesn't really sound like a brass instrument anymore. And those are really the basics of creating a brass patch on a synthesizer. I wanted to make this video uh, mainly because, you know, while I do like making sounds on the Deluge, I also remember that when I first got synthesizers, I started Googling how to make a brass patch and um, I wanted to make the kind of video tutorial that I wish I had stumbled upon when uh, I was first Googling stuff like that. I hope this video was helpful to you. Um, if you enjoyed it, you know, please consider leaving a like, hitting subscribe, uh, and you know, thank you so much. I have been doing a lot of content with the um, Roland SP404 Mark II lately, which even though this wasn't a video about it, I, I guess I've still got it on camera, but uh, I of course still love, you know, since like the Deluge, 
And I think that a lot of the kind of sound sculpting that um, is being done on here really does translate well to most other synthesizers. But um, anyway, yeah, thank you so much again. And uh, we'll just close out with a little jam using that kind of brass patch. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.